Hi guys, today we're going to be talking all about creating content that converts. Now, we all know that content is super important. It's a great way to engage your audience. It's a great way to show what it is that you have to offer. It's a great way for people to see why you stand out. And so today we're going to talk about the four pillars that I use to create content that really helps me to know, relate, and speak directly to my soulmate clients so that in turn, I'm actually able to magnetize them to me. And I'm going to break it down and give different different examples so that you can think of ways that you can take your business model and use this same process to really be able to call in those dream clients as well. So the four pillars are the trusted identity, the tested identity, the transitioning identity, and the transformed identity. And when you weave all four of these pillars together, you essentially create captivating content, that content that magnetizes your audience to you, that has your audience wondering how they can get more. And once when your audience sees it, they want to know how they can be in your energy, how they can be in your space, because they actually see how you would be able to support them moving forward. So let's dive in and talk about the four different pillars. So first we have the trusted identity. This is the relatability factor. What makes people want to trust you? Research says that if people do not know you, like you, and trust you, they are less likely to take that next step with you. And so it's important that you create this trusted identity. And this is why I always say you are a person behind your brand and your brand encompasses who you are as a person. So for example, I'm a coach that supports coaches at building a profitable, sustainable, and impactful brand, but I'm also a mom. And so there's times where I may do a reel with my daughters. There's times where I may talk about different things that my daughters have done or different events that they have and things like that, because it still showcases who I am behind the brand. There's also part of me that will talk about my healing journey because my healing journey is what birthed my business. And so I'm really creating this relatability factor where people get to know why, you know, why I am doing this, the why behind my brand and who I am and the way in which I'm showing up. And this is extremely powerful because the more people get to know you, like you and trust you, the more likely they're ready to take that next step with you. So take time to think about what makes you relatable. What makes you be a person that someone could trust? It could be that you talk a lot about you being a parent. It could talk a lot about you being a step parent. You could talk a lot about your degree or your certification, or you could talk a lot about maybe different things that you've run into and why you've built out this brand. One of the things that I talk about in addition to parenting is I talk about how I, as a coach, really value intimate connection. I talk about me being an introvert and how, you know, in-depth, intelligent, intellectual conversations are really appealing to me. And I try to stay away from all of that fluff. And because of that, a lot of people have come to me and said, I love the intimate feel that I get in your page, or I love when I work with you and I get this intimate access to you, it feels really safe, right? And so I've created this trusted identity by adding in different parts of my life and my personality and weaving that into the way that I show up and what I talk about. The second pillar is your tested identity. So this is the struggle, the wounds, the pain point, the things that people are running into that are preventing them from getting to the next level. So when you're creating content, you don't just want to always speak to the pain points. And a lot of coaches will tell you, speak to the pain points, speak to the pain points. I think it's really important, but I think that it's also important that you balance it out with the other four pillars. So when I launched my Elevate Method certification program, I talked about you're a coach, but maybe you don't know the next step. Or maybe you've piecemealed your way to success, trying to figure out, taking this masterclass, taking this blog, reading this on Google, watching this YouTube video, trying to piecemeal your way to success to create the success that you desired. Whereas when you come into this comprehensive coaching container, you get support on all these different levels so that you don't need to go to 50 million different programs. So I speak to the pain point, but also highlight how I can support and address them as in regards to that pain point. Maybe for you, you're talking about your journey through trying to, let's say you're a weight loss coach. And for you, you're like, okay, I tried to lose weight. And so I did all these like bad diets. And what I teach you is how to lose weight in a sustainable fashion so that you can actually keep it off and you can build it into your lifestyle, right? So this is where you're speaking to the pain point, but also addressing how you can support them. The third pillar is the messy middle, the transitioning identity. So this is the part of the process that we don't wanna talk about. We want the quick, we want the easy, we want the fast. 
I'm being honest, we live in a microwave mentality society where we want success and we want it now. We set a goal and we want the outcome now. And that has a lot to do with what we see on social media, where we see these people that have these massive wins. They lost all this weight really quick. They manifested their love life. They started this business and already had 100K month, you know, like, so we see these massive wins, but what we don't see behind the scenes is there is a lot to the process that becomes really messy. Think about it. If you are, I don't know, like we think of a, a storm, the best way I can think of it is a storm. So let's say that it's raining. Rain can be really messy a lot, but then it also can contribute to plants growing. So there is still going to be a messy process, but there still can be a growth or expansion from that place. I think about for me, when I started my business, there was a lot of like up and downs with the roller coaster ride where I would call in clients and then I would, you know, not call in clients for a little bit. But I committed to this vision of mine and, and the power isn't in the initial commitment. The power is in constantly committing to your vision again and again and again. And so when I talk about content, I talk about that transitioning identity. I talk about one of the big things that I bring up in my business is I talk about the compound effect. I talk about small daily commitments that I have every single day that lead to massive results. Those seemingly meaningless steps that lead to massive results. I'm also vulnerable enough to share that my middle was messy, but I also learned a lot from that mess, right? I talk about failure and how failure is actually feedback and that we shouldn't run from failure. We should be excited for failure because that helps propel us in the direction to learn quickly, to learn um, intentionally. And so inside of my content, I weave this transitioning piece because this is the part of me that also leads to that trusted identity. I don't want to be that person that just posts that, oh, I had all this massive success and here you go. Like this is what's available. I want to show that there's been times where success hasn't always worked in my favor, but I've learned a lot from that experience. I shared recently um, how I had COVID. And during COVID, I had to take a break. I had to be still. And I didn't like that. Like, I'm a, I want to take action and didn't feel good to be still. But also talked about what I learned during that stillness and how I had a great launch because I tuned into what my body needed. So this was the this is a pure example of that messy middle and what I've learned from that and how I weave that into my content. So you want to think about how you can weave in that messy middle. Let's say, again, that you're that you know weight loss coach. Maybe that transitioning identity is where they've lost a lot of weight, but then they kind of stagnate for a little bit and they stay at this weight that's not their ideal weight for a little bit, but what the lesson that takes place there, what is there to learn and how they can stay committed to the ultimate vision to be able to get to the transformed identity, which is the final of the four, four pillars. Um, the transformed identity is that next level version of you, that next level self. So honestly, I see most content that people post around the transformed identity. Oh, you can live the life that you desire. You can live your dream life. You could be a millionaire. You could start a business. You could lose 35 pounds. You can get your body back after having a baby. You can manifest the husband of your dreams. You can, this is what I see, this transformed identity. And while I think it's great for coaches and healers, online space people to be talking about the transformed identity, I do think it's important to weave in all four pillars when possible. So for me, I talk about the transformed identity when people come through my program. What happens when you commit to your vision? What happens when you say yes to what it is that your body is calling you to? And what's available for you when you create this transformation? What happens for you when you create this transformation? So for example, I talk about the Elevate Method and I talk about how the transitioning identity is that you struggle to master your mindset. You're trying to overcome self-sabotage. You're trying to overcome limiting beliefs that you've normalized for years. But then when you do, you now have subconscious reprogramming that aligns with the success you desire and deserve. You get to step into this transformed identity of this embodied, confident, next level version of you. You show up confident. You show up intentionally when maybe you were scared to. You trust yourself and you trust your decisions. You create boundaries unapologetically. This is a transformed identity that I really address and talk about, but I also talk about what it takes to be able to get there. I'm not only or solely focusing on that transformed identity, but it is important to make sure you're including it along with the other pillars. So a question that I get when I talk about this with my one-on-one -on -one clients is like, how do I take all of these four pillars? Because it's not necessarily easy to go from a trusted identity to a tested identity, to a transitioned identity, to a transformed identity all in one post. That's not to say that it can't happen. You very well could do that all in one post. 
But what I like to do is I like to kind of blend it. So I'll talk about a trusted identity. I'll talk about a tested identity. I'll talk about a transitioned identity and I'll talk about a transformed identity and different posts. And then sometimes I'll talk about that transformed identity. So it may start a, a you know, or sometimes I'll talk about all four together. So it may start off with, you know, all four. And I may begin and say, you know, as a single mom, it was really, really hard for me to start my business. I felt really selfish that I was giving so much time to this business and putting my children in the back burner. But then I had a win. And for some reason, my body kept drawing me to create this vision, to see it all the way through. And even though it felt like a roller coaster ride, and even though other people didn't understand, I knew that something bigger was calling me. I knew that someone somewhere was waiting on me to do what it is that I'm called to do. And so I stepped in to that next level version of myself and I started to fully embody that. And I started to remind myself that showing up serves me and the collective, that playing small serves absolutely no one. I started to trust my decisions even when it made no sense to anyone else. And I started to create, create boundaries around my energy so that I can make sure that I had that energy for my children. I had that energy for my business and for my clients. And because of that commitment that I made and that constant recommitment I made, I have been able to totally transform the way in which I run my business. If you'd like to learn more about the strategy to expand your vision, to see it through, and to be so proud of the work that you do, Join us in the Elevate Method using the link below. So you see how that took all four pillars. I, I started with that trusted identity. I talked about where I was tested. I talked about where that transition takes place that most people won't highlight. And then I moved into that transformed identity. And the four together created a post that let people meet me at different places. Some people may just be looking for a coach that they can relate to. Some people may need validation that they're not alone in their trials and their errors and their struggles. Some people want to know that the messy middle is normal and that they can get through it and see the, the, the rainbow on the other side of the storm. And some people want to see that transformation can actually take place and they want to see what that transformation looks like. Regardless of where these people are coming in at for this post or learning from me from, they're essentially getting met exactly where they're at because I am addressing each of those four pillars, okay? So again, you could do a post where you take all four and weave it in. You could do two of the four and weave it in. But what I want, you could do all of them separately, right? But what I want you to focus on is I don't want you to pick one aspect and only touch on that. Don't only talk about the transformed identity. Don't only push on the, the pain points. Weave it all into your content, into your YouTube videos, into your podcasts, into your blogs into your social media posts, into your lives, into your reels, into your TikToks, into every your clubhouse, whatever. Weave it into all of the way in which you show up and you are going to ultimately create content that is so magnetizing that is going to ultimately blow your mind as well. So I have a little bit of, of reflection questions for you to consider. I want you to go through, I challenge you to just if you don't want to go through all of your content, that's fine. I'm sure there's a lot of it. But even if you want to look at like your last seven posts or your last three blogs or your last few YouTube videos or podcasts, what content do you have currently that's working? Like what content is really, really engaging? And how can you begin to hone in on that and do more of it and be intentional about posting that content that's relatable? Second question is what content do you need to add in that will really address those four areas, right? That will meet your audience at different places and different, different places of where they're at. And then I want you to determine what can you commit to today and how can you begin this process? So let's say for example, that you, have, you haven't done anything around relatability and you really wanna be intentional about relating to your audience. You wanna be really intentional about creating that know, like, and trust factor for your audience, that very, very, very first pillar. How can you be intentional about doing that? Here's the thing, you can listen to me talk all day and you can say, wow, that's a really, really cool idea. And maybe I should work on something, but it really only serves you if you take action in regard to it. I have personally used these four pillars to really expand my content. I've used it in reels and podcasts and YouTube videos and one-on-one -on -one client sessions and lives and posts and anything you can think of. 
And it has allowed me, one, to magnetize amazing soulmate clients to me, but it also has allowed me to learn ways that I can make shifts and changes to make sure that I am constantly in a place to attract the right people to me. And most importantly, to have a massive impact. So that's what I'm going to leave you with today. Take some time to really contemplate. And most importantly, take some time to take action. It will blow your mind. Have a great day.